Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. Apologies for the handheld camera view here, but I needed a large open space in order to talk about this. It's the Kukina reusable grilling sheet, and I wanted to unroll it and show it off here before I actually use it for cooking something. Um, so this is what we're just going to have to do. Now, I saw an ad for this thing oh, just a few months ago, and I thought to myself, that's never going to work. What, a, a silicone mat that you put on your barbecue in order to cook food? That's ridiculous. I don't really see the benefits of it, and it would never work anyway. Then we went over and visited my dad, and lo and behold, he's got one of these things, and he cooked chicken on it, which was perfectly fine. In fact, the chicken was like fairly thick stuff. Um, he tried his best to kind of flatten it, make it a little bit more... Um, uh, barbecue friendly uh, so that the inside of the insides would cook nicely but um, yeah it was fairly thick chicken and it was not pink in the center it was perfectly fine and what's really cool about these things is there's even you get grill marks because of them so I just wanted to we, we ended up buying one of these because I just thought okay I gotta I gotta try this thing for myself and it it totally works so I just wanted to kind of talk about it. If you see these things advertised, if you're interested in trying them out, give them a whirl. They're actually very, very good. So uh, what do you get in the box? Well, if I can do this one handed, there we go. You get the cooking sheet and uh, it comes with this nice little roll on here. We'll just pop that off. I actually find this is a pretty good packaging. Just keep it rolled up with that um, little uh, saver there, and then this is good for storage. Um, so in addition, we've got uh, a little uh, mat or a little um, uh, wiping scouring pad. This is fairly soft, so I think their intention is don't use like a regular scouring pad. Use this specialty one, and we have had to already. So yeah, that's what you want to use, but that comes inside there. And I think there's also, maybe it's on this side here, some um, promo codes or uh, things that you can buy. What is it? Yeah. Just other um, other advertising stuff for other, yeah, there's some like, coupons there and other stuff that you can buy and use the Kukina grill sheet for. It's a little bit hard to, yeah, there we go. You can see it's like just an ad for what this thing is. Um, Right, so let me just move this out of the way and use this area for what I got this weird steady cam version for. So there you go, there is the entire sheet. Um, I'm gonna be putting it on the barbecue in a little bit and trying something unusual. I mean, I, I know it's good for uh, chicken, obviously. We've made steaks on this thing and it's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna make a really unusual item on this cooking sheet. But uh, before I do, just wanted to give you a little uh, sort of brief look at it here. Um, you just lay it down. Now, now it's not silicone, like it doesn't have that same material feeling of, you know how like silicone mats and gloves and spatulas and stuff, they've all got like a rubbery feeling. This doesn't feel like this. In fact, this is actually, this feels like a bin liner, but thick, like really, really thick um, garbage bag material. Um, you can cut it to size. Now, luckily, this thing fits our barbecue very, very well. They say in the instructions, make sure you're not, like, completely overlapping the entire area. If your barbecue is only about yay big, uh, don't have this thing, like, with it hanging over the sides. I guess they don't want you to suffocate the uh, elements or whatever. So you just use a pair of scissors to cut it down to the right size. But this thing totally works. Now, what I want to try and make with it was actually shown in the ad here. Let's move you out of the way. Um, something that I thought would be very, very cool to try is that. Can we make eggs, like fried eggs, on a barbecue? I've, I've never done eggs on a barbecue before. I'm kind of curious to give that a whirl. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can actually get some eggs with grill marks on them. Welcome to the patio. So uh, we've got the barbecue here. We've got our eggs and we've got the mat set out and good to go. Now it might look a little grubby. It's because we've already been cooking some stuff to go with the eggs. But as you can see, like as long as the uh, mat doesn't completely cover up, you should be all right. And if your barbecue is smaller than this, you can just cut it, like I said before, with the uh, scissors. So 
I've never done this before. I don't know if I need to put Pam down or something to keep this from getting too sticky. I guess we'll just give it a whirl, see what happens. So, I'm now going to attempt to put eggs with a grill mark. Uh, apologies for the jump cut there. Um, it's to say it's the outdoors, there's been people going by, so a little bit noisy there. It's now quietened down a bit, so let's give this a whirl. I'm going to just crack an egg right onto the uh, mat and see what happens here. Here goes attempt number one. Oh, it's running. It's running away. Oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> okay, not a problem. Not a problem. That's the first experiment. Maybe what we'll do is try it a little more on this side here. And hope we don't have the same downhill problem. Oh, that's looking better. Stop, 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 stop. Sorry about the airplane. Okay. All right. Stay there and cook. Okay, good. Let's see if we can get a third one. I was going to say the benefit of the uh, mat is that you don't have to clean the grill, but I'm going to have to clean that later. Carefully give this guy a try here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I just shouldn't. Well, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Stop. Stop. Get starting to cook. Stop there. Stop. Okay, I'm not going to push my luck with a third. I'm going to close this and let's give it a minute. See what happens. Now, while that's cooking, um, a few things to uh, consider, things I've discovered. Um, as I say, we're going to have this with a couple of other items, and one of the things we did was you can also get the, these pouches from Kukina that you can put things like potatoes in, which we've done. Um, you can't stack them. Like, we were thinking we're going to lay down the, uh, the one mat, having cooked the potatoes in the little pouch, we're going to put the pouch on top of the mat, but that started to, like, feel like it was starting to adhere, so I've decided to keep them separate. I think you I think you need to thank you, Mr. Crow. I think you always need to keep these items separate from each other. Um, also, uh, the instructions say you shouldn't use this on a grill that gets up to about 500 and, 550, I think, Fahrenheit. Um, this one can almost get that high, so I decided to make sure I kept the thing open quite a few times. So let's uh, let's check on our eggs, shall we? See if they're any more solid. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, they're coming along. They're coming along. I'm not going to push my luck. Let's close that off and just give it, well, yeah. We'll give it a little bit more time. We're on full blast here. Um, what else can I say then? Um, yeah, uh, except for that little mess that's in the corner. One nice thing about this is that you don't have to clean the grill nor under normal circumstances. Put an egg on there is a bit weird. Um, there's a lot of talk lately. We saw a thing on the news about how there are some people, if you're using those cheap wire brushes, sometimes the wires break off and have been stuck in people's food and then go down people's throats. That's really bad. I don't know that that happens a lot, but this eliminates that entirely. You never have to clean the grill again, so that's pretty good. All right, um, we'll uh, cut back in a minute when we know the eggs are done. All right, now the big question is going to be, we have some eggs that no doubt have grill marks, but flipping them over is going to be a challenge. Um, I might try it with this. Thank you again, Mr. Crow. Or I might try just uh, lifting the mat with this thing and see if I can flip them that way. Let's just see if this will come off it's it's coming off like it's just on a frying pan that's good set that there Ooh, maybe not maybe not come on come on Ooh, okay just about okay okay there we go let's see if we can Flip it over, complete with grill marks. Ooh, that's not going to work. Hang on. Try it this way. Come on. Carefully, carefully. And flip! Well, that didn't quite work. All right. <laughs> Let's try it with this guy here. Maybe 
uh, some more neighbors. All right, come on. Yeah, I don't know that I would recommend you try and get grow marks on an egg. It's a little, a little bit of a dicey proposition. It's just not happening. But I thought that's the most extreme test for this uh, little sheet that I could come up with. And it does show it in that poster, so you'd think it would be able to do it. I think in theory, on paper, it'll work. But in the reality here, uh, it's not too bad there. I guess that's the closest we're going to get to grill marks on an egg. Um, so yeah, experiment basically completed. I'll uh, close that back down again. Um, but that is the Kukina uh, baking sheet. Um, pretty cool. I mean, definitely for like steaks, chickens, burgers, hot dogs, etc. It's really, really good. And the fact that it's got uh, the gaps all covered means you could put like we had asparagus on here earlier, that kind of stuff. No problems at all. It's not like things are going to fall down in between. But uh, for the eggs, uh, a little bit dicey. However, outside of that, I really, really like this thing. I totally believe in it. And if you get a chance to try one of these baking sheet things, I say go for it. All right. Well, let's hope that's enough traffic going by. Until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.